Hey guys. Um, so I was looking at the personal progress check for unit two, the free response section. And I felt like the key for the very last part of the last question um, was a little bit unclear. So I wanted to clarify that for you guys. Um, so this is the unit two personal progress check, um, part B, part two of part B on question two. So that is question two there over here. Um, okay, so it has two blocks that are moving towards each other. Um, one is going downhill with a speed of 0.35 meters per second. Block B is going uphill with a speed of 0.35 meters per second. Each block has a mass of 0.2 kilograms. And then it designates that the center of mass is this point right in the middle of those two blocks. Um, the question is asking, half a second after this point, after this scenario, um, the blocks collide. And it says, what is the speed of the center of mass of that point at the collision? Okay, so the way that I would go about solving this is first, because the two blocks are moving opposite to each other and they have the same mass, um, they're gonna kind of balance each other out. So we're only worried about the center of mass and the center of mass is right in the middle of the two of them. So I'm gonna treat these two blocks as one system. I'm just gonna group them together and say that those two things combined are a thing. Then I'm only paying attention to that dot of the center of mass. And I'm trying to figure out what uh, is the speed, right? Or what is the velocity of that center of mass half of a second after this occurs? So um, at this point, the center of mass is still. So it would be um, accelerating due to the force of gravity, right? And the acceleration due to gravity is gonna be 9.8 meters per second squared or 10 meters per second squared. I'm gonna use 10 because it's gonna make my math a little bit easier. So now I would go through and I would say, okay, I have a 37 degree angle, right? That is a 37 degree angle right there. And I know that for acceleration, the straight down would be 10 meters per second squared. Um, then I could figure out the horizontal and the vertical components of acceleration. So the horizontal component, the X component, is going to be down that way. The vertical component is going to be down that way, right? That vertical component is going to be equal to the normal force. So I haven't drawn it, but that would be my normal uh, force, right? There are normal acceleration. I'm technically doing this in terms of acceleration, not forces, because I'm ignoring the masses. Um, so this 37 degree angle is the same as that 37 degree angle right there. I'll zoom in on that. Oops, there we go. So that angle right there is 37 degrees. I know that this part over here is 10. Um, that's a right angle. And I happen to know that uh, with a 37 degree angle, this is gonna be a three, four, five right triangle. You could also do it with trigonometry um, and say, I care about the downslope part. That's the part where I'm caring about the velocity. So I'm looking for this value there, x. Um, in order to find x, it is the opposite of the angle. Huh? So uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 37 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse times 10 on both sides, or 9.8 if you prefer 9.8, um, but I'm using 10 meters per second squared just as a rounded. 10 times the sine of 37 gives me x equals 6 uh, meters per second squared as my downhill acceleration. Now I have an acceleration, right? That's the acceleration in the x direction down the hill. So the question is, half a second later, what's the speed? Okay, well, uh, velocity is equal to acceleration times time, or I could say acceleration is the change of velocity over the change of time, if you prefer. Multiply time over. Um, velocity equals acceleration times time. 
velocity equals six meters per second squared times 0 0.5 seconds, six times a half, velocity of the center of mass is equal to three meters per second. All right, um, so the big idea here is that we have to treat this um, as one system. So the big key is circling the whole thing and saying the both boxes together are the system. The center of mass is the middle of that system and the middle of that system, that is what I'm finding the velocity of. Once you do that, find the acceleration, solve for velocity. All right, hope that makes a little bit more sense. Have a good one.